I just wanted to ask, um, we saw how uh, during the national strike last year, um, the, the Alcaldia chose to implement the smart to, let's say, control the social uprising. And uh, we were wondering from the delegation if uh, this time, in relation to the elections, if there will be social uprising again, if this is a tactic you plan to use again, or if you're thinking about doing, using another tactic. Thank you very much for the question. The police here is a national institution. The mayors are not in the line of uh, leadership in the police. The mayors are here for... We are not the chief, the mayors are not the chiefs of the police, and we cannot give orders to the police. We don't have in Colombia like local police, of police officers. We don't have police officers that are in charge of the local government. Maybe in the United States you can see that, but here in Colombia we doesn't have it. The ESMAD is a unity in the police that is specialized, specialized that intervenes, uh, that acts when you are having violent actions on social unrest mobilizations. The ESMAD is a resource of late, the latest resource. resource. You, c you can use in a, mobili in a social mobilization. It's the last resource you use. We follow a protocol for social mobilizations that reaffirms that the first things to do, the mayor office has to accompany the social mobilizations with um, some uh, some people that work here at the mayor's office that are called gestores de diálogo. I mean like dialogue facilitators. Yeah? Also with uh, convenience facilitators. Dialogue con convenience facilitators that are formed and that are instructed to intervene when you have tense situations on social mobilizations. Both of them uh, depends on the mayor's office. This, the Bogota mayor's office, has never asked or authorized the interventions of the army on the social mobilizations that we, we, have, we faced last year. And the facts of policy abuse, abuse that we saw on the social mobilizations last year, on the national stroke that we have in Colombia last year, we as the mayor's office even reported those cases on policy ab on police abuse reported report them to the national attorney and we and we elaborate um, um, a document that had all the facts uh, regarding the, the violations of human rights during the social mobilizations last year. The ESMAD doesn't ask the mayor authorization to 
intervene in the, in the social mobilization. We, of course, have some responsibility with this math. We are on the street with them. We can ask them to retire. We can ask them to intervene in the less, in the most pacific way. Yeah. The ESMAD has not lethal arms, but has arms of that can cause a big harm on on, on the citizens. She has she she has asked to the ESMAD to not use those arms on the social mobilization. We don't have, we, we haven't planned that the ESMAD is going to intervene um, this Sunday on the social, on the elect, election day. We already have uh, 1,500 policemen uh, reinforcing the public force in, in, in Bogota. So the ESMAD should not uh, act this Sunday. But if during, before or after the electoral day, some violent um, action or actions uh, happen during the electoral day, the police is going to decide if the ESMAD should or not intervene in those, in those moments. We ask the police, as, as we have nine, 900 electoral uh, posts for voting, so we ask the police to not um, not take <laughs> the police for their primary mission, that is to keep the security among citizens, to go to work on the election polls. So why? that's why we ask for a reinforce on police officers, uh, like she said, of 1,500 uh, officers. Hola. Thank you so much for having us here today. Um, there's very little media in the United States about what's actually going on here on the ground in Colombia. There's this idea that the NATO-friendly national government is in charge of all aspects of what's going on in Colombia. How can you give us assurances that everything you promised today, as far as having a fair election, will proceed peacefully without the national government coming into play. Thank you. For me, it's difficult to suppose that there is an illegal intention of the national order of or of uh, um, But 
it's, it's difficult for me to say that, but I appreciate that, that we have uh, an independent electoral observation from the social society in Colombia, like the MOE is coordinating, and it's very important that we have an international uh, electoral observation, like you do. In this, in this political campaign, we had many reports of participation in politics of many um, public public officers in Colombia. Those reports of uh, politicians intervening in politics, it's obviously that caused some perspicacion on the citizens, on the people, and maybe some doubts about the electoral process. But it's very, very important, fundamental, that we have independent uh, electoral observers. In the history of Colombia, we have and proven by a judge and by the judicial system that uh, politicians or public officers have participated participate in politics. So that say to us that this may happen and this makes an alert to us to keep an eye on, very vigilant eye on what could happen on the electoral day, the Sunday. Because of those precedents, it's very important that we have a, res a response and, and a, company, a company of the national and international observers and independent.